going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Let's find some deals, baby. Let's take five, seven, down. Today, we've got 13 PC mods in testing. We've got seven console mods in testing. All those 21 mods were released today. A2 Studio shows progress on his TLX record. JA Modding's Massey Ferguson 299 is the latest victim of a pack. 40 Modding's high spec tanker is getting closer. Zeus's Modding show off their John Deere sprayer. SCB talks about the update to Riverside Farm. Plus, Lancy Boy talks about American Life Farming and what his next project will be. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have the ACS Weight Pack, American Barn, American Life Farming, Case IH Traction King Series, Cruise Control Lock, Dually 16T 19T Trailer, Manure Drying, Nursery, Pallets High Shelf Storage, Pellet Packing Station, Plywood Production, Rabbagino, and Wood Harvester Measurement. In testing for consoles, we have the Lizard 1105, Lizard Next 44202, Lizard Ripper artisanal p431-2 riverside shed pack and thunder with all that being said we still have nine mods sitting waiting to be tested and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is two work days in addition to the mods and testing 21 new and updated mods were released today on the end game mod up including a big update to the john deere 8000 container carrier and lots of factory updates for console players i've already made a video showing these off you can find that video linked in the first pinned comment and description below making our way into today's top stories we start with a2 Square Studio and their TLX Phoenix Wrecker, which is currently being made on his live streams for all platforms. This utilizes the Phoenix frame and setup, but with the addition of a Wrecker body on the back. You will be able to move vehicles exactly like you would expect to move them, but without the need for a tow bar, as those can't come to all platforms. He has worked it out and been able to figure out how to run this for all platforms, but is keeping the functionality a secret until the release. I have seen it in action and can confirm this mod is going to blow your mind once you see it. If you want to catch him modding this live, check him out on YouTube via the link in the description below beside A2 Studio YT. His next live stream is tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, so you can catch him there. He will also be our guest on the Farm Sim Show tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern, so tune in then to learn more about this and much more. JA Modding has a few things for us today, starting off with their Massey Ferguson MF296299. He says that it did fail testing with some basic mistakes, but the biggest thing is the Giants want this mod to be attached to their MF283 to make it a pack together. Obviously, the mods are different, and JA Modding wants these to be two separate mods, and I understand that, but we've seen this quite a bit lately, and it's been made very clear to make things a pack or no mod release at all when Giants request that. So, JA Modding will be sending this in as an update to make that pack together and say that it should be back on the testing list soon for all platforms. Secondly, from JA Modding, today we see their John Deere 670 single offset disc hero starting to take shape now. With the addition of the discs, where yesterday we didn't see them in the screenshot that we got then, it won't be massive, with the smallest version being 3.9 meters and the largest version being only 6.5 meters wide. Still, this is going to add another John Deere option for tilling, and I'll take that any day. Forty Modding update us on their high spec 2300 SAR tanker today saying that they are just starting to get the tanker in game. They still need to skin the flexible hoses and make a couple of minor color changes to the UDIMs, but they are making great progress. The high spec will be compatible with their Mastic dribble bar and will also be released for consoles as a lizard brand or something similar. As for their dually trailer, it is currently in testing and has been for the past three days straight, and they expect an update to them shortly in terms of the release or failure. Generally, mods don't stay in testing this long or very long at all. They either pass or fail, so it should be very soon we will know the status of this trailer. Solutions Modding show off their John Deere sprayer for the first time in about a week or so, the John Deere 250 Trilled Sprayer. This is a mod that they have made for all platforms, and they say that the mod is almost ready to be put in game. We know that this will have a smaller tank and a smaller working area to match. It's not a huge machine. It will only be a single axle and can be pulled the trailer hitch. Unfortunately, no other information is known about this trailer at this time. Solutions Modding generally does a good job of keeping us updated on what they're working on, so I would say to stay tuned for more information as it's available, I'll let you know soon. And just as I was finishing the recording of this video, FDR Logging has announced that their Pro Pack Delimmer is available now for PC and Mac players over on FDRLogging.com slash mods. I'll make sure to leave a link to that in the description below for you guys. 
They also say that the announcement for their winner of the two Thrustmaster joysticks is going to be announced later on today. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Missy B has completed the update to her latest map, Riverside Farm. This version will be version 1.0.5. It will include these major fixes. Fix the farmland issues, milk trigger working at the beef farm, replace the petrol station, reduce the seed usage for carrot and onions for planting, fix the storage at the main farm, add a new crop to the main silo, fix the food plane at the main cow farm, the dairy farm, fix the bunkers at the BGA and main farm. Other minor fixes were done as well. You will need a new game save for this, so if you are playing on there right now, just a heads up, you're gonna lose all of your progress. Also a side note, there is an issue on Xbox. That was not said what it is, and I have no idea what it is, by the way. However, if you're on Xbox and there is a problem, go ahead and activate the Alpine DLC if you have it. If not, you may have to use the, uh, or have a problem, but activating Alpine DLC should fix it. I'm assuming that the roads are gone because this was a problem with one of TNT's mods, and she's asking about him as well in her post. So rip Xbox players, I guess. Are you having any problems? If so, what are they? And lastly today, Lancy Boy's American Life Farming looks to have failed testing sometime yesterday after the list was created. Since yesterday, we saw it only testing list for consoles, AKA second stage of testing. And today it's back in PC testing, which is the first stage of testing. Mods don't go backwards like that on their own. My guess is that the fix was very minimal since it's back in testing so quickly. There's also the chance that we could see this released tomorrow, but that is only a chance. I would love to see this map released as much as you guys, and I'll let you guys know once we have more information. Oh yeah, and in addition to that, Lancy Boy has teased his first project for Farming Simulator 22, saying that it's going to be called Farming Life in... Dot, dot, dot. There's lots of speculation of where the map could be located, but what we know for sure, as they said, the announcement will be soon. What do you think it could be? Where do you think it could be? And what did you think the self-aware segue to the outro would be today? Did you get it right? Just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods. Myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about in this video, hey DJ, where's that thing at? This simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video on that thing. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, hit subscribe to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Just a reminder, I am going to be gone on Saturday. I'm actually leaving tomorrow after the Farm Sim show. I'm going back to my old house to get the rest of the stuff there and clean up. And we may even live stream there for a little while on Saturday, giving you a house tour of the old house. We never got one. Still needed to win here. All being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace. For real though, I gotta get on this house tour. You guys have been asking me like crazy.